Traveler. Traveler, wake up. Traveler. There you are. Okay. Yeah, you got pretty uh, beat up there in that fight. Yeah, I was just actually um, working on getting your wounds all fixed up here. Yeah, I'm pretty well adjusted to this kind of stuff when it comes to the resistance, so... Don't you worry about a thing. We are just going to get all of that figured out here. And we will get you back on your feet as, well, as soon as we can. That's what I think, at least. Uh, let's see, go ahead and wrap that up. Yeah, I'm, uh... Oh, trust me, you're definitely one of the lucky ones with that fight. Yo, don't you worry about me. I'm, uh, I got a little banged up too, but I've been in plenty of these fights already before, so I wouldn't worry about a thing. Your Excellency was definitely very much worried about you, so if that's any consolation to you, I, uh, I hoped that, um, yeah, this is going to be a little bit of alcohol, so. This, this might sting a bit. There we go. It should be good. Yeah. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, I know. But it's gonna get worse before it gets better. That's what they always say. Let me just open up this gauze packet here. Yeah, you got quite a few cuts right over here on your forehead. Just gotta clean those up, and then we'll get some some tape to cover that up. It should be good enough length. Put that on there. There we go. Well, I can let you know, you passed out during the fight, so, um, I will let you know, though, that it was successful. We were able to get away the samurai that we're trying to get onto the island, so, you definitely fought valiantly, Traveler, that is for sure. That doesn't hurt too much, does it? No. Good. Yeah, Miss Kokomi actually came by a little bit earlier in here to check on how you're doing. I told her that you'd be doing fine. And she shouldn't be too worried about anything. But that's up for you to decide, isn't it? At least that's what I hope will be the case. Shouldn't somebody else be doing this? Well, I enjoy doing this, especially when it comes to you. Just put that on there. Just tap that up a bit. Tap up that blood. Now you've got quite a laceration up here on your forehead, so I do need to take a look at that. Let me just grab this disinfectant here. Okay, that should be. Now, this is gonna be a bit painful, but I'm gonna take 
this lighter here, and we are going to have to cauterize that. Let me just dry that off real quick. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up this metal. And basically, we are going to what we do, uh, call this the old soldier method. And what I'm going to do is apply this right onto your forehead. Now, this will hurt quite a bit, but we do need to do it to stop that bleeding from that laceration on your forehead where you got hit. So, hold on, this is going to hurt. Ah, I know. Trust me, I've had this happen to me plenty of times. Probably won't be the last time you have to go through this on Yuzuma. Okay. Let me just do that a couple more times. Oh, other than your little incident here, how are you enjoying the area? I know the Shogun is quite uh, dictatorish in the way that she operates things, especially this whole Vision Hunt decree. How have I been able to keep my vision? Oh, hold on, Traveler. Yeah, you're doing a good job. Well, anyway. How have I been able to keep my vision? Well, strategy. That's what I can tell you. It's, um, let's just clean that area up. And that secretion. That's a lot of, um, strategy and hard work that goes into it. It's not an easy task to put a bandage on that. Um, not an easy task to say the least to keep your vision around here. But Her Excellency does definitely has a way of making sure that people are able to keep their visions around here. You haven't met all of us yet who have visions around here still. I know Kazuo had to escape Inazuma. We did offer him uh, refuge, but he said he would rather prefer to um, head off with uh, Captain Beto to another area, so we uh, just let him do that, really. Right. Let me just tie that off. And awesome. It should be good there. Let me just clean up the rest of these wounds over here. Just dab them up. A bit more disinfectant. You feeling any better, Traveler? I hope so. I meant to ask you, um, once you're all feeling better uh, out of the infirmary, if you could head over to my residence. I'd like to um, get to know you more personally, one-on-one, -on -one, let's say. Do I have feelings for you? <laughs> well, doesn't everybody have feelings for everybody? Right here. I'm going to put this. This is basically a aloe vera based Cauterizing, well, not cauterizing, but uh, gel to help with your healing process. And hopefully, that is going to help those injuries heal themselves a little bit better. Okay. Get all of this cleaned up here. Now we do have one more pretty bad cut to handle, so hopefully that won't be too bad of a problem. Let me get some disinfectant here to start cleaning that up. Did not mean to drop that, that was a mistake. Okay, I'm just going to dab that up. Wipe away some of that gunk out of there. <laughs> oh, 
Awesome. You're doing a very good job, Traveler. I will say. There are a lot of soldiers that would be crying for their parents at this point. But you're doing a very good job. Just put that on there. Awesome. Tie that off. Ah, oh, this thread does not want to work with me, does it? There we go. Cool. Now, I'm going to let you know, Traveler, you are not to go out on the battlefield for quite a while, I'd say a few days. You really do need to let these stitches do their job and let those wounds heal. Not to mention, um, you're definitely gonna need your rest too. I'm sure your body's killing you right now. Why is it mine? <sighs> Been through this many times, Traveler. At this point, my body doesn't feel much. But, let me just put all this stuff over here. Yeah, uh, like I said, get some rest, some relaxation, um, and when you're all ready, Her Excellency uh, Sangonomiya Kokomi would like to uh, talk to you about some future plans that we have ready. And I also need to talk to you about some future plans with your own um, separate detail there that we had already arranged for you. Um, I should need this thing. You can put that away. Um, but no, if you need any more uh, help from me in particular, like I said, I do want to uh, talk to you personally in my quarters. Um, once you're done talking to Her Excellency, that would be great. So, other than that, I think you're all good. So, you just lay back down. There you go. And. I will see you well, probably tomorrow morning to check in on you, so you have a good night, Traveler. <laughs>